Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn how to fetch the data from a table in PostgreSQL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to PG Admin 4, which is a GUI tool. And uh, uh, from a table, we will try to fetch the data. So what are we going to do is we will create a table and uh, we'll insert some rows and then we will perform some of the select operations or fetch operation onto the table. So I have a table already created. So let me drop it first. So drop table and there's the table name. So let me execute it. It is executed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table course. So I'll say create table. These are the keywords. Table name is course. In the round bracket, the first one is the column name. And this is the data type. Then followed by a comma. Then the second column is name. This is the data type. And this is the third column. So in total, we are going to create three columns. And the respective data types are mentioned. Uh, data type uh, means the the kind of the data which can be stored inside these so I'll just execute it you can see that create table command is executed successfully let's say uh, now we are going to fetch the information so I will just say select all columns from the table which is the course so either I say select course underscore number comma so let me fire one more command select course number comma name comma price from that table uh, let's execute it and you can see you have three columns course underscore number name and price and their respective data types are also mentioned instead of mentioning all the columns i can mention the columns which i need so i can just mention uh, two columns um, course underscore number and uh, the name of the course so that is also or you can simply mention one of the column sorry I uh, yeah right now what we are going to do is we are going to insert three rows inside that table so we'll say insert into then the table name in round brackets we will mention the column name so this is the first column name course underscore number then the second uh, column is name and third column is price and then we will give a keyword values and then in the round bracket we will put their values so one is the course number of first course which is postgre then this is the value which is 150 second is the uh, course number for mysql and this is the price and this way we have created we are going to insert three rows so instead of doing it three times we are going to put it in a bunch three rows at one go so this is inserted now we are going to fetch the information either I say select the name of the column or select all column from the table so I'll just say select a star from the table name is course just execute it so you can see there are three columns and their respected values are displayed we can put some kind of uh, expression also. I'll just say increase the price by 1.5 times and then display the column as new price. So you can see the there's the third column which is, which is with the name price. So I wanted to display another column with the name new price. So I'll just say select name comma price then I'm going to put a condition, multiply it by 1.5 times and as this is the alias. So you display the column name with new column, which is new underscore price and then the table name. So you can see 
and when you are displaying you have given the name name of the course and then you have just displayed the um, alias of the column which is price as new price and you have given some kind of expression on that you have just multiplied by 1.5 you can do one more thing so you can display uh, the multiple columns of the same by just uh, doing some expression so we are just saying select name price as original price so i'm just keeping the name as alias name as original price and then the new price we are multiplying it by 1.5 and we are just saying it display it as new price so we have two columns but in reality in the database there is just one column which is uh, with the name price but we have displayed it as original price and new price we can perform some more expressions on that you can display um, so if I just say select a star from course you can see that we have three course with the price 150 60 and 70 so I'm just going to say display the courses which are greater than 150 so this should display 160 and 170 so this has displayed two car, uh, rows which is mysql and mongodb with the 160 and 170 we can do some kind of order by also um, we can say select star from course where price is greater than 150 and order by the column one so you can see uh, we have two um, rows which are greater than 150 and we have uh, ordered it by the uh, course number this is the basic kind of select operations which we perform on on the table label and there are much more which we will see in coming uh, tutorial i hope it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching